Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I know, surprising. I have a video up. Yay! <laughs> um, first and foremost, I think it's important to say that I have been very unactive because of my computers, and yes, computers too, to be exact. Um, I thought it was going well, and then one computer didn't want to work anymore, and then the other one just never worked, so I had one at first, the, my first, first, like my first couple of videos I did on my first computer that I barely used, and it's like super new, and I've got, and I've only had it for like two, a year or two, a year or two, um, and like I've never really, really touched it just because I haven't really learned how to use it really, and it just got, like, it got really messed up. And so then, so that was a bus, and then I got another one, my boyfriend's computer, and that was working for really, 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 really good, and it was like my OG A1, always can trust on computer, and it ended up completely just blowing up in my face, and it doesn't work anymore, and so I kind of restarted my other, my old, my first old computer, um, and like I did everything new and I try to set everything up and so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this will work and I'm really hoping that I can get this video up hopefully very, very, very soon. Um, although I know that is, it's, it really is my excuse um, and I don't feel like it's, it's a really, really good reason and if you follow me on Snapchat then you know why exactly and I've let you guys know since like day one. Um, but there has been definitely some unmotivational like things. I'm just not motivated. I'm um, just saying it's been a crazy past couple, several months, and it's just been a hard couple of several months, too. So a lot of things have been going on, just stuff like that, just personal things that have really, like, I just wanted to keep to myself and not really, like, do anything. Um, It's really weird because I haven't recorded in a really, really long time, so I really, I feel a bit awkward and, like, embarrassed, and so if I'm looking down a lot, it's just because of that. Um, but I really want to get motivated again, and I really want to start doing YouTube videos, but it, I really, it's out of, it's like out of my control when my technology, my equipment is not working, because I do not have the money to go out and buy super expensive technology and like all this stuff when, like it just doesn't work. There's so many things that have really been happening, um, if you follow me on Snapchat that you know some of it kinda, I guess, not really, um, but regardless of that today i bring you this look right here um so like like i said i just started like you know i try to restart my computer and yada 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 and all this stuff and so this is what i came up with and it's a it's really dramatic it's a really holiday dramatic like glam look you have the cut crease you have the glitter and you have the bold lip you have the shirt contour the bronze the highlight you have all that good stuff I'm really surprised how this came out. I tried really hard. If you guys know me, cut crease, I have my mirror right here, cut crease aren't my forte, but I'm really, really, really satisfied with how it came out. I think it, I think, I just feel like the more you do something, the better you get, regardless, oh my god, I'm so sorry, it's, I have like something sticky right there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just really like it, so I'm like looking at myself in the mirror. I really, really like it. I really like how it came out, and so I decided to stick with red. I did a red and gold, because it could be a New Year's look as well, and a Christmas look. I just think it's really glam and holiday, and you can wear it whenever you want. You can go wear it, you know, if you want to go grocery shopping or whatever. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you for you guys, because I know that I haven't lost any subscribers, nor have I gained any, but I haven't lost anything, which was the most, like, scariest thing for me, because... I didn't know how you guys would react with me not like not having videos out and you guys are still just there so we're right there and hopefully we just keep on growing and hopefully I get really really motivated anyways I hope you guys have a great night great, great day wherever you are please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new I'll talk to you guys later bye First things first, we're going to start off with priming our eyelids. I'm going to use the Urban Decay just original basic um, eyeshadow primer. Then I'm going to go into the Morphe 35O palette and I chose that color for my transition shade and I'm just using an e.l.f. blending brush to keep on blending in my transition shade. 
After that, I'm going to go in with this orangey peachy shade and I'm just building up my crease color because like I said in the beginning, it is a cut crease video uh, tutorial. <laughs> so I'm just bringing like, I'm just going up in shades. So I start off with a neutral color, then go into red, to orange and then red. And here I am, I'm taking a crease, specifically a crease brush, and I'm just building it up like no tomorrow. Um, I also used um, a Morphe shadow. I can't remember which one it was. It's a brighter color. I'll leave it down below. I think it's either Brick or Flame, but I'll leave the information down below. It's one of their individual shadows. And I'm just extending, and as you can tell, I'm really cutting the crease here with that red. And then I'm taking the blending brush and I'm just blending it. This really consists of blending and then cutting it. Blending, cutting it, blending, cutting it until it's a blended, cutted look. Do you know what I mean? So I took this dark brick color <clears throat> with a hint of red definitely and I just cut the crease more like I said, a technique of blending and cutting and I'm using the Com Celebrity Concealer from Wet n Wild and I'm using that to cut the crease to make it sharp and it took me a while this process takes a really long time because you want to get the right shape for your crease and I like to do it where my eye fold my eyelids fold exactly um, this took a really long time so be patient with it I'm not a pro whatsoever but I definitely, you know, try and keep on practicing. Sorry, I don't know why that is really like posy and whatnot. Sorry about that. And so I'm just blending. I mean, I'm not blending. I'm just cutting my crease. <laughs> and I used an e.l.f. concealer brush. Look how sharp that is. I was super proud. And then I just go back with that red and I add more ink up the crease more and then I'm taking a white base color and I'm just setting the concealer you don't I don't know if you really have to do this because we're gonna be going in with a lip gloss to put the glitter but I don't know it's just something I prefer because then it's not super tacky do you know what I mean so you can skip this step if you want and all the shadows I you I used today we're all Morphe shadows. And then I'm just going in and adding more red. And then I'm taking that lip gloss that I told you I was going to use. And then I take a, you know, a good proportion of it. And I start applying that to my eyelids. I do one eye at a time. And I do use lip gloss. This is a nice trick when you don't have a glitter adhesive. I guess I did not do one eye at a time. I did both of them. <laughs> and I use this glitter by JCast. This is the only glitter I own and I really like their glitter and they're super cheap and inexpensive. Um, I'll leave the name down below just because I don't know. But there I am. I'm just applying it all over where the white part of the eyeshadow is. There is the finished eye look. I'm really happy with this. It's definitely my favorite look that I've done. As a cut crease, it's definitely one of my favorites. And as you can tell, there was a lot of fallout, so I just left that off with a brush. And then I took that Kathleen and Morphe Lights palette. Morphe Lights, sorry, Kathleen Lights and Morphe palette that she collaborated with not too long ago. And I highlighted my brow bone. Taking, of course, the same Maybelline uh, Dewy Foundation, and I'm applying that all over my face. I've been breaking out really bad. It's, I'm still breaking out really bad. Oh yeah, look at this, you guys. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> blending out my foundation and I know I did not cover my nose but I had my Disneyland sweater on and then I had foundation like leaking from my face I was not gonna have foundation be on my sweater because it always happens 
And then I'm going in with the same concealer I used to cut the crease. Um, and I'm applying it in the inner deck of my, of my corner. Of my inner eye. I'm so sorry, I cannot speak. And then I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm applying that to the rest of my face. And I'm just taking my real thick uh, blender and blending my concealer. This gives me the most coverage I have ever, ever had in my whole entire life. I'm not even lying. my Earthbound Translucent Powder and I'm going to bake the under eyes and then I'm also going to do my smile lines because I crease way too much my smile lines even when I put the powder on. And then I'm taking my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula and my Contour Branch uh, 113 from BH Cosmetics and I'm sculpting, the, actually I'm bronzing my face and then I'll use I'll also bronze up my temples and then I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Dulce de Leche contouring palette and I'm going to contour and sculpt my face. They're two different things people, two different things. Um, so I'm doing both and I'm taking that red and I'm going to blend that color on my lower lash line. I start off with a vibrant kind of ready orange and then I go in with the color that I used after I cut my crease, that brick red, and then I go in and I deepen it. This is totally optional. I love my Laura Lash Lines to be smoky regardless of whatever look it is. It's my favorite part of makeup as you can tell. And there you go. I'm using my brick color. I was actually all Disneyland out. I did not even notice. I got my Disneyland ears at Disney um, when I was in California and then I got and then I wore my Disneyland sweater. I do not know what I was listening to but I was jamming out and I just took a highlight shade and I don't even remember which one it was. I'm guessing it was the first one that I used to highlight my brow bone but I don't know. And then moving on to the Illuminating Palette by e.l.f. and I'm taking that white foldy shade and I'm just applying that to the high points of my face. So my high point, like my cheekbones, my chin, I like how I do my chin, my cupid's bow, and my nose. And I'm using just a random mascara because the one I use, the cruelty free one, my wet and wild, oldie but a goodie, my trust, like it's my A1 mascara, I left it down in my car because I always apply my mascara in my car. So I just used this random one that I had. So it wasn't like the best mascara, but it's okay. And you can apply lashes here if you want as well. It's just I don't really use lashes. So I did it. And then I'm going to be taking two different shades. I'm going to be taking Taurus by Colourpop. And then I'm going to be taking Rich Red by e.l.f. I start off with Rich Red because this red on camera it actually looks really red and nice and bold alone. But in person, it's more of a pinky red, so I didn't like that. And this is the final look, so I hope you really guys enjoyed this video. I cannot, I can never take myself serious. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!